So, one of the things that I've discovered over the last few months, especially uh, since I started playing MMOs more, since I started playing Diablo, games like that, is that I don't really enjoy first-person shooters all that much anymore. Uh, I used to be, as you know if you subscribed to our channel for a while, used to be really into Modern Warfare 3, you know, uh, Black Ops, games like that where you, there were shooters, they would rely on fast twitch uh, re reactions. I'm not really into that anymore, so it's been kind of tough because the things that have been really coming out in video games besides the uh, the MMOs, besides the Diablos, they're, they're mostly first-person shooters. It's pretty much the most popular genre in video games so you know it's really been tough for me to not have to play those games because it, you know there's a lot of people who are still looking for content in those games now I was buying a gaming mouse off of Newegg mostly for Star Wars The Old Republic just because I'm kind of a nerd like that I like to buy the peripherals that'll help me out playing I, I one of the reasons why I was getting the mouse actually is because I, it has a button on the mouse that I can interrupt spells with, which, you know, that sounds really geeky, but it actually helps out quite a bit. So I, I was buying this gaming mouse, and with it came this certificate for free items in Blacklight Retribution. And I'd kind of heard of Blacklight Retribution, like, vaguely. I, one of my friends, I believe, uh, plays it. And, uh, you know, I, I'd seen internet ads for it, that sort of thing. All I knew about it was that it was a free-to-play uh, first-person shooter game. Now... That's two things right there that I'm not into. <laughs> Free-to-play games, uh, it, it, you might as well call them pay-to-win games, usually, because you, you can get the basics of it. You can level up to a certain level sometimes. Other times it's just you get the very, very basic weapons, very, very basic everything, and then you, uh, you have to pay to get anything better. And it becomes, an, in effect, a game where people can't really win unless they're using that kind of stuff, the, the stuff that you pay uh, real money for. Now... I'm never going to pay real money for a game that I don't think I'm going to play that much. And this game is really one of them. I was thinking to myself, you know, I'll, maybe I, I'll give it a shot. I have this free token type thing. But then, I, you know, I, I kind of put it away and didn't really think about it for a while. And I, I got an offer, though, on Raptor for the, another item in this game. So I was like, all right, sweet. You know what? I'll check it out. Raptor is a site we use a lot to promote our videos. Actually, if you came to this video via Raptor, give, give me a thumbs up or uh, let, let, me know, let me know in the comments. I think it works pretty well. But uh, yeah, so you know, I, I decided, okay, well, I have a reward on Raptor for this. I'll give it a shot. Uh, log on once or twice and see what it's all about. The first time I logged on, I, I popped into a game and I, I did okay. And then all of a sudden, there's these mechs running around, uh, people in these mech th suits, and just completely destroying you. You can't kill them with your regular guns, you know. People had amazing sniper rifles. I didn't have the ability to unlock anything. So I pretty much was just like, screw this. It's, it's all pay to win. Forget it. Well, it's not exactly like that. Uh, the, as I discovered upon looking at it again, there's a game here where you don't necessarily have the ability to unlock everything, but you can unlock it for a certain amount of time, just th uh, straight through in-game contributions. Or you can spend quite a bit of in-game money to unlock it but the the hard suit thing the the mech suits as you'll see right here I haven't paid one dime into this game and yes you can in fact use them they're actually kind of more like kill streaks in Modern Warfare 3 where uh, if you get enough kills during the game you're able to unlock this hard suit that I'm having a, a whole lot of trouble figuring out where a, a place to put it is um, it, it ends up serving like a reward for doing pretty well in the game now in this game as you saw I captured a flag right away and got a few kills so I was able to get enough get up enough points to get one and it's kind of fun I mean you, you run around it's not unbeatable like I thought it was the there people have RPGs flamethrowers things like that that'll take it down but uh, it, it pretty much destroys anybody that's on foot and it's actually a lot of fun and you know that's really what you want to do in a game like this I pop onto this game every once in a while now for you know 15 20 minutes if that and the whole point of it is that I can log on to this game and I don't have to, you know, sit there and commit an hour, two hours or anything like that to jump in. It's a really easy, you know, smooth interfaced game where you can just jump into a game. Doesn't that matter how late in the game it is, you can jump in pretty easily. It'll give you a quick match. You can jump in and, and have a little bit of fun and then log off and, you, you know, you're none, none the worse for wear if you, if you pardon my, uh, my cliché. It's not a big deal to just pop in and pop off this game. 
whereas you know a game like Star Wars The Old Republic a game like Diablo something where it's more involved you know you're hard-pressed to get in a mission without having to spend 20 30 minutes and uh, there's no real point in doing less than that so it's not really a short-term game like this is you know I, I really have always been averse to especially PC first-person shooters ever since I started I logged on and played some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, or actually I think it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, where uh, I would jump in and I was pretty good at it on the, the Xbox, uh, this was still when I was playing them a lot, but I jumped onto the PC uh, one time after I, somebody bought it for me, and I jumped into a map and I was like, alright sweet, you know, I know the map really well, I'm pretty much going to run in an own ass. And all of a sudden, I realized that guys that barely had half of their head above, you know, like a brick wall were picking me off from all the way across the map. And I was like, you know what? First-person shooters on the PC just aren't for me. I, I clearly don't have the mouse reactions. I don't have the ability to quickly, you know, snipe people the way that people in PC shooters do. And uh, I pretty much gave up on them. One of the nice things about this game is that, you know, you don't have to worry about that necessarily because you don't have as many serious uh, players and all that. You know, if it did become a situation where it became more pay to win, I'd probably bail out. Or, you know, if you got into the really highly ranked games, I probably would get pretty frustrated with it being somebody who isn't going to pay for the ability to get different guns. But, you know, this very basic assault rifle that I have, the uh, just the, the standard web or, you know, personal co uh, customizations and all that, it doesn't really bother me all that much to have, you know, not have the, the paid product or whatever so it, it's not too bad you know I, I can still jump into this and you don't have the incredibly serious people I think you have a lot more people like me in this kind of a game where they just want to jump in and play for a couple minutes and have a little bit of fun and then uh, go on with their day and that's the kind of game that I think that a lot of people you know if they gave it a chance would be pretty uh, you know happy with it's not clunky like some of the uh, the browser based free to play games are it's not you know unimaginative and they have a large variety of game types they have a decent number of maps i think that i've seen five or six maps uh in my time playing the game which is kind of cool i mean if for a game that you're paying absolutely nothing for to have four or five different game types you know maybe up to 10 maps i can't necessarily confirm that but I, i've I, I wouldn't be uh, rule that out i haven't played it that much and i've already seen like five maps so i'd assume that there's probably more than that you know, you're getting the kind of game here, the, the kind of quality for basically no uh, input that you would have in a, in a big title. So, you know, as you can see, it's not a slouchy game graphics-wise. It's a snappy game. It's a, it's a game that the gameplay is very, you know, decent. It's based on the Unreal Engine. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, although the copyright on it is up to 2011, so I'd assume it's a pretty recent engine. You know, the game looks smooth, feels smooth. I don't see any problems with it, you know, to be honest with you. So, you know, I think I'm going to put a little bit more time into it. I'm not really, as I said, into first-person shooters that much, but if I have some time to kill, I, this is a pretty damn good game to job, jump on and have a little bit of fun. Uh, anyway, uh, this is pretty much going to wrap up the game here. I did pretty decently. I didn't necessarily uh, embarrass myself, if you will, but, uh, yeah, it, if you guys enjoyed this kind of uh, a video, if you enjoy... Blacklight Retribution, if you want to jump on with me, my character's name is Mr. Cupcake. just add me as a friend, or I'm not really sure how that works, because I haven't added anybody, but if you want to play with me, just let me know. Uh, if you guys like videos about Blacklight Retribution, or about any kinds of games like that, or you, want, or you think I should try one out, especially if it's free, or you want to gift me the game or whatever, let me know. I'll definitely give it a shot, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Anyway, with TheAwfulGamer.com, this is your boy Panic Knife. If you liked it, if you want to see more, give it a like, give it a subscribe, drop a comment for me, and uh, I'll catch you later.